One of the quick ways is you can type in in Google, for example, uh, telling time HTML5. So the key is whatever simulation that you want, uh, whether it's in the math or in the physics department, uh, you can just search for something like this, say telling time HTML5, do a search, and if there is a simulation that we have created, uh, you will be available via the link. Click on the link, okay, and you will see that um, it launches up the the digital library page, which shows you the open educational resources uh, made using open source physics. So to click on the picture will be to launch the simulation. Uh, but there are also uh, availability of uh, other uh, medium. For example, you can click on the Google Play Store, or which then you can download this simulation. It will show the same interface and allows you to play with it. So let's say this is the simulation, uh, it, run, it will run in full screen. The first drop down menu is usually one that is uh, easier to navigate. So for example, if you do teaching mode on, you will notice that as you drag the hand of the, 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 the clock, the hour hand does not uh, move. Basically it's doing a floor uh, function to make it snap so that this will make it easy for novice learners. Uh, if you take away the teaching mode, then it will show what is uh, realistic in most analog clocks, which you can use this to make it more realistic. Okay, but the teaching mode uh, off is uh, on is meant for very young children. So uh, the first one is you can actually use this drop-down menu, and you can see that it actually snap to uh, various values. So this is twelve o'clock. And if you make it loud enough, half past one. Okay, there will be even a sound to narrate the pr correct pronunciation of, of this timing. So this is probably appropriate for primary one. I feel now for primary two, then the other options could be, for example, uh, you could turn on the minute face. So the minute, minute face. The minute face will allow the student to figure out uh, what is the meaning of all this. Uh, uh, you know, like for example, in this case, this is half past one. So this will be 30 minutes and 1 o'clock. So you toggling on and off, you can Our see face. how this actually makes sense to the, to the student when we say things related to the minute. And if you were to show a digital AM... Digital AM PM show. Uh, hopefully you can, you can drag it away, oh, but mm -hmm. I'm having some difficulty. Uh, so you can actually move this to a position of your choice. Okay. And this will actually show up in the actual uh, digital clock show. Okay. And this allows for learning. And the other words show. The other cool thing we have made is uh, we actually made the words, for example, half past one, you know, make it more uh, possible for a student to figure out. And lastly, the challenge will be show angle. Uh, this is a request by teachers uh, to allow. A more challenging question to be set where we get students to calculate the angles between the hour hand and the minute hand but this is not uh, trivial uh, so it will be pretty difficult probably more suitable for upper secondary students okay so we can hide the hide hour. angle if you want to hide anything you can just select from the drop down menu so much for the first drop down menu okay uh, the simulation actually will run uh, from the beginning when you first load it it will run but you need to may need to pause it. Uh, this is to step the fun step the simulation. Okay, it doesn't move because I think the the minute the second hand is not shown. So if anything goes wrong, click on the reset button. Okay, now uh, you may be wondering what is the second drop down menu. Okay, this is a second drop down menu that allows a student to, for example, you can show. The me. answer is zero o'clock and zero minutes. Okay. So for example, I do a randomized quiz of uh of which that it will show. Let's say three o'clock. Drag to three o'clock and zero minutes. Uh, this is designed to help students to be able to show the correct uh, answer. So, for example, if the student think that this is indeed three o'clock, they click on the last icon. Great, great. You have the right answer. Okay. Likewise, if you are more challenging, uh, more challenging, you can have the other random five minutes. So this will ask you to drag to two o'clock and twenty-five. Drag to two o'clock and twenty-five minutes. So I'm going to try to drag to 2 o'clock and 25, uh, fine-tune it using the minute hand. 
Great, great. You have the right answer. So this is a very quick tutorial to explain how you can actually use this simulation to get your students to be you know, excited about how to tell the clock. Thank you so much for watching.